Alright, so first thing you're going to do is open up a new file. Anybody hazard a guess as to what size that file should be? 11 by 14. 11 by 14. So we're going to go back to US Tabloid and change the pixels to inches so we can actually see it. And change this 17 to a 14 and then hit create. Wait, we're doing this on a separate file. Separate file. The texture studies are on a separate file. All right. So uh, first things first, um, go to my round brush. Uh, I'm going to select a uh, kind of a middle brown. That's good. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to create a like a vertical kind of swath of brown here. All right. And then I'm going to go to my glaze brush and I'm going to pull down to like a darker brown here. Um, and I'm going to start stroking in the grain um, because wood has grain. Um, and we're just going to pretend like this is just one big flat piece of piece of wood, uh, not individual boards or anything like that. So um, I'm going to start by uh, just kind of putting in some marks that kind of mimic what wood grain does. And you could pull up a reference on your computer. I'm just going to kind of freestyle this. And just kind of stroking in some some different grain here and what I'm doing is I'm overlapping it in certain spots certain spots to to make the grain darker all right now I'm gonna swap to an even darker brown almost a black uh, and I'm gonna switch to this brush here to come in and get some more specific kind of grain marks going I'm just going to try and keep my hand fairly loose using mostly like arm movements to kind of block this stuff in. Alright, so now I'm going to make a new layer for my highlights and I'm going to switch back to this glazing brush and I'm going to pick a fairly light beige. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to stroke in uh, the lighter parts of the grain. And then shrink the brush down for some finer parts. Then swap back to that uh, that nice flat brush. Stay on this color. And now that I've done that, I'm going to put in some uh, some like weathering to it. Uh, I'm actually going to kind of speckle it with some dirt and some scratches. So I'm going to pop down to uh, the texture tools here, um, and I'm going to try putting in some some darker brown. I've got this uh, this brush here that's basically a um, I forget what it's called. but it kind of looks like a big splatter just to kind of give it a little bit of grit I'll come back and do a similar thing uh, with this uh, splatter tool and give it some some doit and then I'm gonna come back with this thin brush here and I'm actually gonna throw a few scratches in Now the secret to making a scratch look real is to take it, do it with dark first, and then come back and echo the marks with light, so it look like they're three dimensional, so that the scratch is deep and it's actually catching some some light on the inside of the scratch. 
So that would be how you do uh, wood grain. Um, so now we're going to go back to this layer here where I put my base tone on my wood grain and, uh, and I'm going to do some metal. Um, so we're just going to start with kind of a steel. Uh, and this would work for bronze. You would just use different colors. Um, so once again, I'm going to just go to my, uh, my round brush and just block in an area of steel color. that all right now um before i get started with uh with some specific kind of stuff i'm basically going to throw in i'm going to use this same brush that i used for the dirt on this and throw in some some large areas of dark and light um, so i'm going to go i'm going to start with the dark and i'm actually going to go down to this really dark gray here um and i'm going to put in some kind of whorls in the metal it's an underlying texture there and then I'm going to do the same thing on the highlight layer with uh, with light gray here, and go opposite it like that. And now I'm going to bring in some uh, some darker strokes in the dark area. Let's go with this dark gray, and I'm going to go again to my glaze brush because this is good for covering areas but still keeping some transparency. So I'm going to go diagonal with this. I'm just laying in some overall, just keeping my marks real loose, keeping my pressure real light. And then I'm going to do a similar thing on the light layer with white. Kind of focusing in on the areas where I already put those little whorls. Then I'm going to come back in to the darks with this brush here, make it fairly large, just coming in and darken some of these streaks. And come back and lighten the streaks on the highlight layer. And then I'll come in and put some scratches in. Go in the other direction. Some people like scratch surfaces, so lay some of those in so there we have basic wood and basic metal